Hey you guys, how are you? So today we're going to be reviewing a, the method of application on my um, Double Wear DW130 Toffee. It's from the uh, brand Estee Lauder. And I also have from MAC, so we're going to be doing half of my face with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And then half of my other face with the Studio Fix Lid NW35. And the reason why is because I'm... Right now, I'm open to any suggestions about other foundations. I'm very happy and content with uh, Tiny Doll from uh, Lancome, but I am looking for more like um, suggestions, pretty much. So I'll be using again the DW130 uh, Toffee and then the Studio Fix Fluid and W36, and then I will also be using my Kabuki brush from Emax Design. It's a brand new one if you guys have seen it. It should be down on the description down below or on the previous videos. So I will be cleaning up my face as usual with the Maleva Micellar Water. I already cleansed my face but it's always good to clean. Double check and make sure that I don't have anything. Um, I do want to tell you a little bit about how I have been lately. Um, so in this video I want to address a couple of things about my personal life. So I've been... I am 28 years old, um, I work in the beauty industry, I love doing my job, honestly, I feel like it's just so much rewarding and it just makes me feel very blessed about everything and the reason why I love it is because I feel like it's just so rewarding, I love doing makeup, I, like, I love doing skin, so I feel like this is a great path for me and the company that the two companies that I am working with right now I feel like they have given me such an amazing opportunity not only in my personal life but in my professional life because I eventually want to save up money and continue doing a um being a, an esthetician or even a makeup artist whatever the choice whatever not whatever it comes first but whatever it's the best choice for me at the moment I al I've always been into makeup when since I was 12 I remember I used to sell makeup I remember I used to sell Avon and Jafra which is kind of like Mary Kay and I've always fell in love with makeup so I feel like to me that's one of the one of my one of my passions as well as um teaching I also wanted to be a Spanish teacher and I um when I was 18 I when I was between 17 and 18, I went to school to take some English um, courses as well as uh, Spanish and, and Italian and French and some Japanese and I'm in love with uh, cultures, I'm in love with um, the variety, the backgrounds of everybody, understand that not everybody feels things the, and reacts the same way and I feel like that's just such an amazing pleasure and um, it's just an amazing opportunity to experiment with other cultures. So I'm almost finished cleaning up my face. It's been such a long day today. I was up since 6 a.m. in the morning. Right now I want to say it's 10 almost. So I've already cleansed my face and um so I've already cleansed my face and I'm gonna wait until it dries a little bit. So um, I will be using my Clarisonic brush for makeup. As well as my, uh, the first time I'm gonna be using e.l.f. And I feel like actually, I should instead of using this one, I should stick with e.l.f. for right now. So we can see the first impressions um, on how I apply the foundation. Or sh I should, I, I feel like I should stick to I feel like I should stick to the two different brushes and not Clarisonic one instead. What do you guys think? I'm just kind of like everywhere. So I'll be using the um, the Flawless uh, Foundation HD Blush, which is from um, ELF. And then I'm also going to be using the Kabuki one from here. And uh, I will see what's the method of application. I'm very excited about it. So I feel like my face is already dry and I will be utilizing this e.l.f. hydrating face primer. And the reason why I love hydrating, it's a brand new product as well. So I'm just going to do one pump. It's because my skin is very dry and I feel like it always needs to drink up something all the time. And so that's the main reason. Hmm. Hey, look, it already went away. 
I feel like it already, like, my skin, it just, I, I don't feel it anymore. I guess it just synced in. Okay, so I've already put my primer on. And half of my face, I will be doing a um, concealer as well, of course. Why not? Not give myself that option. So excuse me if I give you my back, my neck, and my crack. I'm joking. Please don't take a bumpy offense. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a Ma Maki Complete in the shade of 360 Biscay. And I'll be using a... Blending brush, but so since we're uh, playing with makeup, I should be using one that I actually like. Okay, so I think this is an eyeshadow brush. Should an eyeshadow brush work for me? This is a concealer brush. Hey, my best friend. So I'm gonna be applying this in two different ways. Oh, that's kind of like the deal going on right now. And because it's the same one, I'm going to be utilizing the same brush. I uh, know there's not a lot of... Uh... Again, I'm not an expert. I'm still working to become a makeup artist. And here I am pinching my eye with a concealer brush. Maybe you do it in a different way. This is the way I do it and this is the way it works for me. Maybe I'll learn from you, maybe you'll learn from me. I feel like my under eyes are very dark. And I feel like that has come worse because I'm not drinking enough water at work. So it's kind of like, oh my gosh, what's going on with my life and my eyes? So, yep. It's pretty, that's pretty much done. So we'll be utilizing the Kabuki brush for the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, Darty Toppy. And I went there, to, I went to, um, I don't want to say names. So I went to a uh, convenience store, not a convenience store, like the mall in the mall. And she said she had given me a sample for a whole week. I don't feel like this would do a whole week. But I mean, it's okay. We'll, we'll work with whatever. And if I like it, who knows? I might be purchasing it. If I don't like it, I'm, honestly, I've actually tried it, and I didn't. I felt like it just enhances my pores, and I just didn't feel like it would do the best. When I actually went to Mac, the manager there, she was very nice and very polite and very friendly. I want to say that that's one of the the little customer service that I've actually gotten. And I actually love it. Yeah. I always pull down the reason why it's because you know, you know what they say. I don't know if this is oxidizing or something, but I feel like it's too bronze. I don't know if it's because of the lighting, but totally. I like this brush so far, but I feel like I have to tell you in a little. So we'll turn it up since we are not still in full with the, the effects and the editing and everything else. So again, uh, let's go back to my lifetime story. So when I was between like 12 to 14 and 16, I used to do um, sell some with makeup and I was always ready in makeup products and stuff like that when I was 18. Between 17 and 18, I would probably use, I was going to school and taking classes for languages and I, that's what, that's that was my passion in Spanish as well. I would go there and learn um, how to do poems, poetry, uh, pretty much everything. So. I feel like that looks really good, but I can still see my pores in here. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose them or I'm, I'm just gonna raise them, but I just don't feel like it just, oops, sorry. I just don't feel like it's just the best option for me. So, so we use this one for Estee Lauder 
double wear um dar darty dust dusty toffee. I wanna say dusty toffee. I don't think it's dirty. So for our Mac Studio Fix Fluid and W35, which I felt like she did a really good job. Again, when I went to Estee Lauder, they used this kind of like color match machine. And I felt like it was very accurate, but you can tell the difference. And when I went to Studio Fix, she was like, boom, this is what it is. And I'm gonna give you more options. And you know, I'm gonna let you choose. So I'm gonna erase this. Yeah, it's a water from here really quick if you guys don't mind that. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then when I was 21, um I started traveling. I started traveling everywhere from San Diego to San Francisco, from San Francisco to Chicago. Not in that not not in that order of course, but I would do it and I was very happy and very blessed. I'm very fortunate to do it. Now I do it with my partner, so I'm very happy that he is with me all the time. So now we'll be doing the Fix Studio, Studio Fix Fluid NW35. And she gave me like four bottles. She was like, how much do you need, honey? And I was like, I don't know, what's good for, what's good for a whole week? And she's like, uh, let me, let me give you some so you can try it at home. I'm like, okay. So we'll be doing the HD Flawless Face Blush. I feel like they're very similar. Uh, double wear should be almost 24 hours, not transferable. Matte finish. Okay. I can definitely see the difference. I feel like, or maybe not. Maybe, um, maybe I am lying. I feel like this is, looks just natural. I don't know if it's me, but I didn't have to do it twice or three times and it just looks very natural. I feel like this face, I don't know if you're able to tell, but I feel like this side looks more orangey brownish brown brownish oranges brown slash orange and this looks more natural can you see the difference it's like in a few words this looks more tanner this looks more natural let's see what happens when i do the second um the the second uh, The, the second apply application on the um, Mac one, on the Studio Fix. So I'm gonna be using this. I don't want to say it's a brush because it's supposed to be. And it might look like I'm dugging in, but I'm, it's actually the little bristles that are just like doing that wood work for me. And like I can see that this one looks more off and this one looks more accurate to my skin. I also feel like this looks very natural and this one looks very matte. Where I thought that both of them were supposed to be kind of like matte finish, unless I'm wrong. Again, I apply the same kind of like coverage and primer. Maybe it's me, but I still feel like this eye, this side is very orangey. Let me go ahead and see. No, I can't turn it on. But let me go ahead and see if this will work. This is my Lumi, guys. This is my best friend. So I feel like this is more bronzy and I feel like this is more like me. So, so far I feel like it's uh, the one that I actually won today will be the NW35 from Studio Fix Fluid. 
And the reason why I feel like it's more natural, I feel like it's just completely different. I don't know if you guys have tried them. Um, I feel like it's just so good. I also have this one, the Studio Fix in 35. And I also have another formulation. This is called Studio Sculpt NW40. For right now, I think we'll do we'll do that. And I feel like I'm gonna stick to this one so far because I feel like it's just really good. I don't know what it is with it, but I'm in love with the finish. I'm in love with the like everything. So let's stick it up and look, do the uh, final touch. So we got the Elf Makeup Mist and Set. This smells weird. I feel like my face is hot. So let's do another one. Are you able to see the difference? Or is it just me and being crazy? I don't know. If you can see and notice the difference. If you can see the difference between Mac and Studio Fix and 30, then W35, please let me know. I don't want to sit here. Um, I just want to know the difference. I feel like I'm just in between. Um, I really wanted badly to have a um, double wear working for me. It just didn't do it for me, and so I'm gonna pass out. And a Studio Fix and W35, I'm gonna say, yep, that's a total purchase. She got me right there. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have tried any of these foundations, please let me know what you, what are your recommendations and what what products you use to primer and moisturize or cleanse your face and if it make any difference for you let me know in the description down below i'll be linking down more information about the products and i'll talk to you guys soon bye bye